YouTube, welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today we've got Ed, the owner of this beautiful Ruby Red E46 M3. Really excited to get a drive in this manual. 2005, uh, 2006? Yeah, so yeah, one of the latest uh, or the last models, uh, LCI. So yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a sec. Right, so E46 M3, it's literally just started raining. So annoying, like all the filming, I've done the intros to, to the cars and they're just fine, but it just starts raining as we drive off. So I'm uh, hoping it's only a light shower. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really excited to get driving this manual E46 M3. What I'm excited about is I drove Joe Arkley's, um, what is it, a Shadow Edition uh, M140. It was the usable power, what I liked. And uh, it just got me thinking that an E46 M3, don't know is it going to be as composed as an m140 obviously the m140 isn't like you know when you start pushing it really hard it's not you know i'm not trying to say it's not the greatest on the limit but you know that's where m cars sort of come alive so i think an e46 m3 is going to hold up better obviously not as much torque not as much low down torque um, but ed how long have you actually owned this car man is it beautiful um, so i got it in june last year so just under a year now so it's ruby red uh champagne interior um I haven't really done much, like too much to it yet. Yeah. Um, just got the AP Racing. You're gonna go right. Sorry. It's alright. Uh, AP Racing brake kit. Okay, she's got the AP brakes, yeah. Yeah. So was that a mod you done yourself or? Yeah. And that's something that these cars kind of suffer with, right? Braking. Yeah. So what did you own before this? Um, I had a Vauxhall Corsa 1.2. Um, wow, was that what you had before yeah, this Yeah, so I had it for about three years. And you're 21, um, 22, right? 22, yeah. 22, yeah. So what was it like going from a Corsa to an E46 M3? Um, it, it's good, like... A whole different world, yeah, right? like the rear-wheel drive especially, you've got to yeah. be careful. Why did you get an M3? What, what um, um, E46 M3? So when these came out, I was like six, and I would just see them driving around. Okay. Um, and I just always thought I'd need one of those at some point. Wow. So as soon so as it's I can get like one. a dream car. Almost. Yeah. This is an expensive car as well. These are going up in value a lot. Yeah. How much did you actually pay? Twenty-one thousand. Wow, man. Guys, you paid twenty-one thousand pounds. <laughs> so you could have actually bought a lot of different cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we will take a right. Uh, so you could have bought a lot of different cars. You yeah, could have bought an E92. E92s, yeah. Um, and you wanted the E46, yeah. Yeah. And what is it? That's what, what, what intrigues you then, like you know, because um, most people with twenty-one grand these days, they would be looking at like. An M140, M135i, or Golf R. Yeah, I and just, you being young, like you. I just think these came out just as I started to get into cars, like mm. when I was young. So wow, I've man. always wanted one since then. That's wicked, honestly. And have you drove any of the modern uh, BMWs? No, none. Okay. So none at all. Interesting. What, what is it like? Do you like to push the car? Is it a car you like to, you know, do you. Drive it hard, or yeah. So I use it it's as a daily. It's your um, daily car, yeah. Stuff, yeah. yeah. And then just on the weekends if it's nice. So has it gone up in value? Is it worth more? Like, is it going to go um, up? More, do you know? I think it's probably going to go up over you know, the next few years. Okay. Hopefully, um, I I don't think I'm going to sell it, but mm. you know, it's just nice to know that it's not depreciating. Yeah. And what's it rev to? Like eight thousand? Uh, Seven point eight, I think. Seven thousand. Yeah, yeah. All M cars, they rev out so high, so even this, say 78, it's, yeah, it's about 80k and it builds its power all the way to the last RPM, so it requires you to rev it, doesn't it? Yeah. It keeps building power. What are the stats on this? So these, I know that I, even in mine, I did like 165, that's convertible. Yeah. Um, not 60, what is it like? 5.2? 4.8. 4.8, yeah. People say on the okay. manual. So what's the age? It's like 12 years old. Yeah. What, what, what do you sort of, you know, have you raised anyone? I haven't had a chance to be honest. Mm. But I guess we keep up with most, you know, M140 eyes. You've got the Harman card and the sound system. Yep. Has it got a sat nav or? Yeah, sat nav. This is a really clean example, guys. You know what? Honestly, it's just absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, I've captured it in the video. But it's immaculate, like, it is so nice. Now, being in this car now is definitely a car that I would own, like, 100%. Obviously, it's probably down to its condition as well. What about maintenance and services and stuff like that? Have you had to spend money? Is there any problems you've had with it? No, I've had no problems yet. So I've done yeah. about 8,000 miles. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs an inspection to service in a bit. What tyres do you run? Uh, Pilot Super Sports. But guys, yeah, so far, just um, 
driving it around like from the passenger seat uh, it seems really comfortable sure that these e46s did come with some kind of adaptive suspension sound as well i think there was like massive complaints man back yeah. in the day because obviously i'm a little older than you as well and it's a stock exhaust as well yeah standard i mean it's still a quick car obviously you need to be you have to be in the right uh, gear at all times in these kind of cars don't you yeah you see, so i mean you haven't even drove like the m140s and stuff but like right now yeah see the na it just it will just keep pulling all the way you can you can feel the power getting uh, stronger as you start revving. It's still a very fast car. How does it feel to you? Does it feel fast? Yeah, like, because I'm only used to this in a course. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Nervous. Nah, nah, don't <laughs> worry, man. I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm going to take the piss. Mm -hmm. Manual. Drove uh, wheels Golf GTI last. Straight away, there's a lot of turning with the wheel. Mm. Like, um, it's direct. It's direct, but there's, it requires more steering input. Yeah. Uh, whereas, like, newer cars, I don't want to try and make this a comparison to newer cars, mm. but straight away, though, it feels like it does feel like a driver's car. Uh, everything's a little bit raw. Still luxurious, obviously, champagne leather. Uh, gearbox feels like, feels really good. I thought it was just going to feel not as good as it does. You've got the AV brakes, of course. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, yeah. this is quick. It's like um, it feels like they're uh, really close together. It's like I don't want to accidentally pull it into first. Yeah. I could do have turned the traction off to be honest. This needs almost like a shorter steering rack. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. That's, that's what it needs, yeah. man. If you had a shorter steering rack, my God, this would be another level because it feels like I'm having to turn too much. Yeah. Uh, you know, when pushing it. Obviously, I suspected that. I suspected that it would be very usable, but it's actually um, it's really good. You know that yep. it's staying really composed. It really turns into the corners as well. Jeez, man, and I'm sweating right now as well. <laughs> yeah, very easy car to drive. Very easy. The clutch is light. It's not. It's not bad. Uh, the gearboxes, yeah, like when you're driving uh, a little faster, I probably have to get used to it a little. But I was like slipping instead of going into third, I was going into fifth. Cornering, this would definitely stay with uh, an M140, M135i. I would say it feels, yeah, like I mean, initially, like I said, like there, there's not as it's not as nimble there, but yeah. when you start cornering, it really does stay on its lines. Um, seats as well man they really hold you in man very supportive I definitely see what the hype is about this now and although I've owned one mine was convertible and I'm telling you I think mine was no good anyway to be fair 
guys, we're going to end the video in a sec because uh, the battery is getting very low. Wow, very, very fast. You know what? Coupe so much different to the convertible. From what I remember, the convertible is nothing like this. Although it's got the AP brakes, they're not like sharp, are they? Yeah. But they stop you. Yeah, they they stop you, man. It's just like a back to basics car, isn't it? Although it's still luxurious, so it's fully electric seats. Uh, you've got the Harman Kardon sound system, tap navigation. Heated seats. Yeah, heated seats, aircon as well. Um, but it still feels like a raw car, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you jump in even an F80, man, it's like, wow. It's different, it's different. Right, so guys, gonna end the video there. Uh, Ed, thank you so much for letting me drive this car. Um, yeah, man, guys, definitely if you're thinking about buying one of these cars definitely go buy one um, fully M like I mean even from the F80 to the E92 this is a full-on M card it's no that is 12 years old this is like it's almost like the real deal uh, even maybe getting in a, a left hooker E30 M3 soon as well but yeah gobsmacked at how good this is man the main thing is it's still a fast car like it's still fast you ain't gonna get it. anybody no matter who you are you get in this car and start driving it hard you're gonna know that this is this is more than fast enough 100 percent wow what a car man very impressive so yeah guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it i know it's probably another short one uh, but as always please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon thank you for watching bye i mean look i'm just gonna just like what happens oh, okay. <laughs> that's whipped out isn't it sorry man sorry <laughs>